Thanks for watching another episode of our Timber Sled Adventures. This video was supposed to be a review video of the 24 Riot 3 Gen 2, which we did get our hands on. Unfortunately, the snow conditions were so terrible, the entire mountain was one solid block of ice. So being able to actually test anything didn't really work out for us. So actually, my daughter right here, she's 15, she rode the bike most of the day, but I did uh, take it a couple times. I say most of the day, our ride was literally like an hour, an hour and a half, just because the snow was so terrible, we gave up and went home early. But I did talk about the ski rubber. I was able to figure that out. That new ski rubber is legit. And honestly, these conditions were perfect for um, testing that ski rubber. Anyways, I talk about that somewhere around the six minute mark. The first six or five, the next five minutes of this video are more about how crappy the conditions were. But yeah, check it out, watch. Oh, and we have to give a shout out to Greg at Moto Frugals in Utah for letting us uh, take the timber sled demo bike. Um, yeah, thanks a bunch, man. If you guys need to snow check a timber sled, you ought to work with him. It's nice to work with a dealer who actually also rides and knows what's going on as far as snow biking stuff goes. Anyways, enjoy. We got the 24 Riot 3 Gen 2 S. I did not realize it was the S model. So, Abigail's riding it. She likes S models. She's been riding the Riot S all winter. What do you think so far, Abigail? Uh, I like it. It's fun, and I don't have to drag my feet on the snow. She doesn't have to drag her feet because we have eye scratchers. That is her most notable thing so far. <laughs> a little worried about snow conditions. It looks like it's icy even in the pine tree. I'm going to test it out on my bike first, then come try it on that one. It's not really an apples to apples comparison because that's the S model, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty icy. We're gonna go to full climb mode just to try to keep the bike from wheeling. So that's stiff on your shock, soft front, stiff rear. Coming back down it and just maneuvering around is gonna be sketchy because that ski is gonna be grabbing. I'm going to try to go up above you. Oh boy. Slip. Oh boy. We don't want that. Dude, I just spun out. I saw that. This is sketchy. It's like ice. I'm going to attempt to turn and go in a different way. No, it's not any better. We need to get higher on the mountain if possible. This is sketchy. Okay, I'll head back down to Abigail. The avalanche condition or report today said that uh, the biggest concern today was, quote, you can slide for life, meaning these hillsides are ice, and if you wreck, you will slide and you will not stop, and I'm feeling it. We're going to go back down to the road, see if we can get up higher in the hills. Well, I intended to grab the timber sled demo model there, the Riot 3 Gen 2 S, and go climb that same hill on my bike, or on that bike, to try to compare. But as you can see, the conditions are just cruddy. It was, the entire mountain was a solid block of ice. But I left this clip right through here in because I wanted to show how easy that bike is tracking across this really hard icy snow. There's all those snowmobile tracks that you saw there a minute ago. And I noticed right off the bat that the ski was tracking really well. Like I was not being drugged or pulled either way in these hard icy conditions. 
I left this little clip in here because this was really sketchy. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is really icy. And I could not turn the bike any steeper up the hill for fear that the track was going to slip and I was going to slide down the hill. We don't want to do that. Anyways, this is as high as I could get up on the mountain. This is somewhere close to probably 9,500 feet. This is right below the ridge. This is crazy. It's I've never had the snow and the north facing pine so hard and icy. I've always been able to find good snow no matter where I was. There is a first time for everything. This is definitely not fun, which is a bummer because this is a 24 Riot 3 Pro S. I was actually super excited to try to figure it out. And honestly, the only thing I've been able to feel in these really cruddy conditions is how well the ski is working. So I, I'm sure the new rubber has something to do with it and the trio also. Like, this ski is tracking super well in these hard packed conditions. It's not jerking me around anywhere. So that's honestly the only positive thing or only thing I really can take away from today, unfortunately. So yeah, I guess we're heading home. This is crazy. I'm going to have to run the scratchers just off the road. I've never had to run scratchers off road. Well, that's a disappointment. What'd you do? Go fifth gear wide open the whole way? She's been here for five minutes. Yeah. We're slow. So if you notice there, my daughter actually beat both me and Trevor back to the truck down the road. She really did put that bike in fifth or sixth or whatever it has, and she just took off. That is actually a testament that that new ski rubber must be working good because she, the most inexperienced rider of all of us, felt comfortable enough to just fly down the road back to the truck. So there you go. There was one good takeaway from yesterday's ride.